company data access component, let's, let's go create our insert company method. It's going to be public, static, bool. It's going to return a bool. I'm going to call it insert company. It's going to want a company ID. Company name. Company email. And company size. String. Oh, sorry. Bool success equals false. Let's create our SQL statement equals insert into company. Company ID company name, company email, company size, values, I put a company ID, name, company email, company, company size. Let's add our using statement. and our connection manager dot get connection command dot parameters dot add company ID data type and for char din dot value equals company ID. In the method declaration, be sure and put the string because I forgot to put that there. And at the same time, I added all of the other parameters. It should look something like this. And lastly, let's execute it. Next, in our default.aspx.cx file, let's go create a new function that's called the OK button click. It's protected. Void. OK button click.
So this captures the data that was input by the user. So if company dot insert company, let's pass it what we just captured, company ID, company name, company email, company size, status status label dot text equals company saved and we want to display the company information again which will repopulate our grid view else And let's put all of this into a try catch. Let's go back into our default.aspx file, into our panel where we have our OK button, and we're going to add on click equals OK button underscore click. So let's run it. Let's add a company. Company ID 11. It's called 11. 11 at 24.net and 1000 and add and then there it is